Hello, welcome everybody. My name is Patrick Payne. I'm the uh, Chief Technical uh, Evangelist here at Zoomasis, where uh, I am going to take you through how to set up a sample project on your new JBase on Windows install. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you um, how we want to set up this project, and then we're going to demonstrate using Accuterm as the emulator to get into the session. If you're uh, advanced and you know how to set this stuff up and want to use the editor of your choice, go ahead. Um, I have this here to show you a way that will most definitely work and will match all the samples we're doing here. What we're going to do now is we're going to download a sample project and put it on your machine. What we're going to do first though is create our account. So you should be able to build your machine now and type JB for JBase and log into your JBase admin account. This is a uh, Again, JBase Admin is similar to like a DM account on D3. From here, we're going to use our create account command with an emulation setting of D3, and yes, put those in lowercase. And we're going to call the Z2018. Please use this exact name. With no other options, this should keep create us an account and set it to D3 emulation. Now, what this did is it did uh, two things for us. Is one it set up the system account. So just like in D3, there's now a system account for Z2018, which is really what we wanted it to auto-create for us. And this shows you where it would have set up the actual account. So from here, we're going to exit out and go into JBase, and we should now see a Z2018 directory. And it would have set it up with a default bin and lib and a default MD for you. But we don't actually want this. We are going to go and download a, uh, a full directory that will already have all the stuff. So what we're going to do here is we are going to remove that directory um, with the slash s option of the Z2018 directory. It's going to say, hey, are you sure? And now we should have no Z2018 directory. Um, we still have our system account, which is really what we wanted. Now what we're going to do is bring up your favorite browser, and if you go to github.com forward slash zoomassist, you should see a Z2018 project. This is a sample project we created for Zoomapalooza uh, 2018. Now there's two ways you can get the project. Um, you click over here, and you can always download a zip of the file or you can use git and git is a, a standard version control tool that um, most uh, new developers are using uh, to upload and download and do version control so if you're interested in using that and i'm going to show that sample here is you go into git and you download the windows version get it fully installed once you're done we go over here and we just click here to copy into our clipboard the URL to our project. We go back over to this and we actually say git, and this has to almost be in lowercase, git clone and control V to paste in the name of our project. We press enter and it will pull the project and uh, you know basically deploy it to a Z2018 directory. that quickly you have cloned down a project. And that's why that Git tool is pretty slick and, and obviously there's many different projects in there. Zoom Assist as we're developing other sample projects and other code, we are going to be doing things in Git. So now, if we see the Z 2018 director, you'll see that we have a, a full account that was pulled down. I can now go back over here, launch JBase, say we want to go into the Z 2018 and here we are. Now the first things that we want to do once we're in here is set up our Accuterm. Now because you have um, deployed a working account, we already have all code and actual executable code in here. And again, I like to state this is a Windows deployment. If uh, you're trying to pull this on a Linux machine, um, it will pull down, but you're going to have to go in and recompile code. This one would actually have the code in here and already compiled for a Windows machine. What we're going to do now is we're going to set up Accuterm. 
And if you don't have AccuTerm, you can just go to www.zoomassist.com downloads. Go over here to AccuTerm, and here you can download the latest version of AccuTerm which will work for I believe 30 to 60 days as a evaluation version which is uh, long enough for uh, the demos and tests we're going to do here. So you download AccuTerm and uh, install it if you don't already have it. If you already have it, just go ahead and launch your AccuTerm and then the file open and in that directory we already have a configuration file for you. So. On the machine, we are going to go to the C drive, JBase. <clears throat> I obviously have quite a few uh, more accounts than you probably have at this point. Let's go down and find our Z2018. Now, if we scroll here to the bottom, we'll see an active term config file. It has now basically done a telnet to localhost which is your box. Now, the reason we're going to use AccuTerm versus um, the DOS prompt, for example, we're here and we are logged in, is the editor. Uh, as I go through the examples, um, you know, editors can vary between what environments you come from and what environments you're used to. Um, the editor in uh, D3 and uh, MB-based systems is much more like the J-based editor, but if you come from a universe system, um, most of the editor commands are a little different. QM <clears throat> will also have some different commands. So for purposes of this video, we want to install AccuTerm because AccuTerm has a GUI web editor, which uh, we're going to use for most of the examples here. So here we now want to log into our JBase admin. Actually, uh, JBase admin is our user. Remember when we installed JBase, we set up a default user of JBase admin, and we're going to use it for these examples. And here you're going to type in your password that you set. And remember when I did the prior video, I said it was very important to write that down. This is a Windows user with a Windows password. If you do not remember what that password is, you need to go into your Windows machine under the user manager, find JBase admin, reset the password. So now that we're in JBase, we can log to our, our uh, Z2018 account. Now, one uh, very unique thing about JBase is we are actually, um, the code you write, your basic code, will actually be converted or transpiled into C code. So our, the basic verb does the first pass where it actually does the translation, creates the C code, and creates the intermediate C object code. The catalog verb takes that and actually creates the DLL or bins. So where we're different than other platforms is that every time you make a code change, you must both run the basic verb against it and the catalog verb against it. Um, many of the platforms, because of the P code interpreter, <coughs> you're usually only having to rebase your code when you make changes because the catalog verb is really just creating a MD entry. Uh, remember here, we're actually writing native native, in this case, native Windows code, and so we have to follow the native Windows code rules. Um, that being said, in uh, AccuTerm, it has a button to compile code. And that uh, button, when you configure it, you can say what command to pass. Well, it only allows you to pass one command. So we cannot, with the default verbs, um, make AccuTerm both compile and catalog your code. So what we've offered in this example in Tools VP is we actually have what I call BC, which is Basic Compile. It's a small little program where it's going to let you pass in what you want to compile. It is going to then um, do the basic and compile in one pass. And then we can actually put this BC verb into our uh, AccuTerm config file. So let's go ahead and make a sample program to demonstrate what we're talking about. So we're going to create our first program using WED and demonstrate the compile thing. So we're going to say WED BP um, first test. It says it doesn't exist. So we'll say go ahead and create it. 
we're just going to uh, very simply say print hello we're going to save it and when we go over here and run the compile command see it comes back with no with nothing so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into tools settings click on the tools tab and we here want to say what command to use and in this case I, I, I had a, an alternative version called ZBC here we're going to place that with BC as a command to run with no options we'll say OK and now when we run our compile it's now compiled it um, this program will also um, catch mistakes so if I was to go in here and say print X hello again print X is not a valid command that should generate a compiler error we say compile again it catches it and says it could not compile so what we've done now is we've downloaded our sample project we have got AccuTerm installed and we have our first window going and we have it configured to allow us to compile code now what we want to do because we're going to be doing multiple if we're doing web development we're going to want more than one window open at a time so what we're going to do here is we're going to go back over to our AccuTerm window and we're going to say file and let's open up our configuration file again this will open up a second tab we can log in again type in our password there we go so now we have two sessions logged into our box the first one is running wed second one we're at a prompt and here we can actually now go and list our BP file see right here where we created our first test program and we will say first test and it should run our program so uh, we've now written our first basic program so again thank you uh, for uh, for watching this video I hope it helps you get JBase installed and up and running quickly and then please look into our next few videos where I will step you through doing some simple uh, programs starting to create simple RESTful services all the way up to creating some full CRUD RESTful services. And then we will actually get into advanced features of JBase, including things like um, our objects, our dynamic objects, methods, items that we have that kind of differentiates us from most other PIC platforms. Thank you very much, and have a great day.